Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard Part 1. As always, I'm gonna go around Bikini Bottom and break all the tiki's to earn more shiny objects. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, to go to Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, we need 60 golden spatulas. So let's get started. The graveyard of ships, somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome specter waits. As you can see, we need to collect eight golden spatulas and collect three socks. This way leads us back to Bikini Bottom. Be careful not to fall into that green sludge. Now let's talk to the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, 
and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your boot. Now get going! Here we have a new objective, top of the entrance area. So let's continue on ahead. Now here we have a new enemy to take care of. This enemy has a bubble shield and will spray a bubble blast at you. If you get hit, you will be slipping and sliding all over the place. So try to take cover and use the cruise bubble to take care of it from a distance. Now the first shot will destroy his bubble shield and then the second shot will destroy him. You want to be quick before he respawns his shield. Now over here, open up the teleport box. Now take note on the side over here in the green sludge. If you look down, you can see there's a wall jump and a golden spatula in a cage. We can't get that right now, just take note of that for later. So let's continue ahead. Now we're going to use the cruise bubble to take care of this chuck robot. That'll make getting across a lot easier. Now here we have a bunch of pillars. And as you can see they have the sponge symbol on them so we will be using them to wall jump. We just need to get them in the correct position. So go to this one in the middle and hit the switch on the back move it out of the way. Now the one at the end on the right here, hit that button, and this will line up the wall jump so we can get up to the top of this ledge. But first we're gonna go down here toward this clam. So we need to feed the clam and pay 2,700 shiny objects. Now this will give us a new objective, a path through the goo. Now go over and hit the switch. Now as you can see the switch will open up the cage to that golden spatula, however we do have a problem, the goo is still in our way. So in order to get that golden spatula, we're going to need to get the goo out of the way. And we can't do that yet, we need to continue ahead first. Now go over to where we lined up the pillars and wall jump to the top. Now if you look up over here, you can see there's a purple shiny object. This can be a bit tricky to get this one. You need to be jumping just at the right spot. Ta -ting! 
Okay, there we go. And then you'll grab the ledge and pull yourself up to get it. So it may take a few tries. Now, from up here, if you look at that mast in the center of the goo, you can see there's a sock on it. Take note of that. Okay, let's continue ahead. First thing we're gonna do is take care of this chuck robot again. Here we have some more pillars to move around. Now go over to where the shiny object is, and you can see there's a ship in the back. Take note of that. Now we just need to move these pillars around. So the first thing we're gonna do is move this pillar down. Now we're gonna go to the other side of this pillar and move it to the left. Now this one in the back, we're gonna move all the way to the right. Now that these pillars are lined up, we can use them to wall jump up. Now over here, you can see there's this giant ship. Here we have a new objective, Goo Tanker Ahoy. So this is where the goo is coming from, this ship in front of us. So what we need to do is use the cruise bubble move here. Up here is a hatch you need to hit with it to close it. That will lower the goo. So now we'll be able to get that golden spatula from before. But before we do that, go over here to where that shiny object was. You need to carefully move across here. Be careful not to fall yet. And if you look down, you can see there's a bounce platform. So what you need to do is carefully jump over to this ship. Over here is a golden spatula to collect. This completes the objective, Goo Tanker Ahoy. So now we need to go over to that bounce platform and use it to get back. Okay, now we need to make our way back to where that switch is from feeding the clam. So now that we lowered the goo, we can now get that golden spatula inside that cage. Now before we hit the switch and get started, you can see there's a sponge ball here, so we're gonna need to be quick. But I'm gonna go ahead and go along the track and collect the shiny objects and get the enemies out of the way first. That will make things a lot easier. Over here, there's the Duplicatotron 1000. Okay, now let's make our way back to the switch.
So go ahead and activate the switch. Now we have 30 seconds to get to that golden spatula. And this completes the objective, A Path Through the Goo. So now we can use this wall jump to get back up. Okay, now we're gonna jump across these pillars and go to the left. Here we have a Chuck robot. And if we look ahead, we can see one of those enemies with the bubble shield. So first we gotta pop his bubble. And then we gotta quickly blast him again to take care of him. Now from here you get a better look at that sock. Remember to keep note of that. Don't forget about it. So now we need to jump up here. Ahead of us is another bubble enemy. Remember to always take care of them from a safe distance. Here we have some more pillars we need to move around. That was a cheap shot, but go around here and you can see there's a Duplicatotron 1000. Destroy it so you can take care of the robots. Okay, so let's get started with moving these pillars around. Let's move the one in the middle first. Now let's move the one at the end. Now we're gonna move this one up. And then move the last one. Now we need to move the one in the middle again. And there we go, all the pillars are lined up. So wall jump to get up. Now you can see there's a switch we'll need to press. But first, let's get this shiny object. Okay, now close to where that Duplicatotron 1000 was is a switch. So go ahead and activate it. This will knock over a mast we can use to get across. Just be careful because it's a slide. Over here is the teleport box on the left. Make sure to open that. And use the cruise bubble move to destroy these tiki's in the center of the goo. Just floating up here. On the right is a golden spatula. This completes the objective, top of the entrance area. Now this teleport box will lead us down here, back to where we started. A new sponge. 
So now we just gotta jump across these masts. And this leads us to the graveyard of ships. Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward! Swab the poop deck! Ay, 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 ay. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Here we have a new objective, top of the stack of ships. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my game, and this will be the end of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, Part 1.